Good morning, Colts. I'm your anchor, Cole. And I'm your anchor, Leo, and this is KTV for Monday, January 22nd, 2024. To start off today's show, Mr. Moy has an announcement about the Youth Food Survey. Let's check it out. Good morning, Colts. Uh, this year, you have taken what we've called the Youth Truth Pulse Survey. You've done it twice in the first semester so far. Those are five questions asked you the same thing. And really the purpose of the Youth Truth Survey is to really get student feedback. Well, next Tuesday during the third period, you're gonna be taking the full survey, which is probably gonna take you between 20 and 30 minutes. And it's a really good opportunity for you to give us feedback on your experiences. One thing that you have seen in the first two surveys and in this next survey is there's a question. And that question asks you, when you are upset or feeling concerned about something, do you have an adult you can talk to at school? And what I'd like you to do is think about, if you have a concern at school, who would you go talk to? Would it be one of your teachers? Would it be one of the student advisors, campus supervisor, librarian, somebody in the office, custodian? Who would that person be? And then what I'm also going to be doing over the next couple months is I'm gonna be coming and visiting some classes, teacher willing, um, and asking students, what does it mean to have a trusted adult on campus? So I want you to be thinking about that. And like I said, we'll be taking the survey next Tuesday in third period. And then, like I said, I will also be coming around classes and asking you about some more information so that we can understand better what that means to you. All right, Colts, thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Moy. The Coastal, the California Coastal Community's annual poetry contest is happening now. Submission deadline is January 31st. Winners in the art category will receive a $100 gift certificate to an art supply store. Winners to the poetry contest will receive a $100 gift certificate to the bookstore. You can access the flyers on, for the contest on the KJHS All School Google Classroom. I wonder what upcoming sport events we have. Let's go to the sports corner. You're dumb. You're a stupid mucking crumb. You're mean. You're a stupid. <laughs> Good morning, Colts. I'm your sports anchor, Sophia, and welcome to the Sports Corner. For Colts sports, volleyball season has ended and so has basketball. Wrestling has begun and will be on Tuesday, February 6th at Santa Rosa. That's all, Colts. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Sophia. I'm getting hungry. I wonder what will we, what will we, what will we, what will, <laughs> what will, what will, what will, what will we have for lunch today? Luckily for you, I know what today's lunch is. Today's cheeseburgers, <coughs> bean and cheese burritos, and chicken tenders and toss. Let's go to the weather studio. Welcome to the weather studio. Welcome to the weather studio. Good morning, Colts. I'm your weather anchor, Ella, and welcome to the weather studio. For this week, the high will be 58 and the low will be 51. Did you know that tornadoes develop from severe thunderstorms and warm, moist, unstable air, along with and ahead of cold fronts? Well, that's all for the weather. Now back to the KTV studio. I think Jake and Amanda have a PSA. Let's check it out. You're dumb. You're a stupid mucking crumb. You're mean. You're a stupid poopoo face. Well, you're not communicating empathetically. Huh? Well, I am communicating to you, dumb, dumb lollipop. What is empathy? And she isn't one dumb, dumb lollipop. She's 12. One for each miserable year she has lived. Calm down, guys. I need to give you a lesson right now. Huh, fine. fine. Communicating empathetically means understanding other people's emotions, having patience and good body language, showing interest in conversation, and not saying things that you would be offended by. I'm sorry, you're really smart. I'm just jealous that you got a, a 98 on that math test. Wait, really? I always thought you were such a likable person. I kind of just got upset you never spoke to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
great PSA. I believe William and Brian have, an, have a PSA. Let's check it out. Every time you go to a restaurant, whether it's McDonald's or a stylish five-star restaurant, you're being served by someone who's part of the food industry. These people make everything we love about the eating out experience fantastic. They bring cheer and bright attitude. We make sure that our families have everything they need to enjoy a special gathering out. January is Be Kind to Food Service Month, so it's perfect time to go out and enjoy a meal with your family and live a little bigger tip than usual to honor those who make it possible. The best way to celebrate Be Kind to Food Service Month is to make sure that you tip more than basic 15%. Go out and show food service that you appreciate their efforts. I think that's all we have for KTV today. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV. That's KTV.